Hi, my name is Allison, and I'm from TechBoomers.com. Today, I'm going to take you through a quick tour of Facebook. Each time you log into Facebook, you'll be directed to your personalized homepage. Your feed, or news feed, is the bulk of this page. The news feed shows you what your friends and the pages that you have liked have been posting. Your own status updates appear here too. However, you may also see status updates from people who aren't your friends or pages that you haven't liked. This happens because people who are your friends like or comment on these status updates. The more you keep connected with someone via Facebook, the higher up on the newsfeed their posts will be. Likewise, the more popular something is on Facebook in general, the higher up on your newsfeed it will be. A status update with many comments and likes, for example, will rate higher than a status update with a few comments. This is your publisher. Here is where you can post a status update, video, or photo to Facebook. You can also add information such as how you are feeling, where you are, what you're doing, and who you're with. Once posted, it'll show up at the top of your newsfeed, as well as in the news feeds of friends. At the top, clicking the two people will show your recent activity with friends or friend requests. You'll also see some friend suggestions that Facebook has made for you. If you click the two speech bubbles, you'll see a preview of messages that are in your inbox. Any new messages will also show up there too. If there's any activity on Facebook involving you, it will show up in this little globe with a number beside it. Clicking the globe will show all of your general notifications, such as being invited to like pages, new posts to groups that you're a part of, changes to events, and many more things, such as if people like or comment on your updates. Here we have the trending section. This is a list of keywords or phrases that are being tagged, shared, and liked, most frequently by users on Facebook at any given time. Lots of people on Facebook are currently reading and posting information related to these words or phrases. There are usually three topics shown by default, and you can click See More to show additional trending topics. Clicking one takes you to a newsfeed that contains only posts that have been tagged with that word or phrase. Similar to how selecting a friend list shows you only posts that have been made by those friends. By clicking this, you can catch up on the latest celebrity gossip or check out different perspectives on a developing story. Hover your mouse over each story to give a preview of what it's all about. Facebook chat is located on the bottom of the Facebook page. A number will indicate how many friends are logged into Facebook that you can instantly message. Friends who are logged in and available to chat will have a green light beside their name along with web or mobile. This will show whether they're logged into a computer or on their smartphones. Friends who are currently logged out of Facebook but can receive messages on their smartphone will have a gray icon next to their name along with how much time they've been logged out for. Click a person's name to bring up a chat window and then start typing. Press the enter or return key to send the message. Your ticker is on the right hand side. This shows the most recent activity by your friends in strict chronological order. Hover your mouse over an activity to get a preview of what it is. You can click these icons to navigate to other parts of Facebook. You can go to the events page, check out some apps, or keep connected with groups that you're a part of. Don't worry if it seems like I'm going through things really quickly. There are more tutorials on each of these specific pages. At the top of the page is the search bar. Use this to search for friends, groups, or other Facebook pages that may be of interest to you, such as bands or actors. You can search generally by clicking a button from one of the suggestions below. As you type, Facebook will automatically make some suggestions, trying to help you find what you're looking for. This is similar to Google. Click a suggestion if you see what you want. That wasn't too overwhelming, was it? Now you should have a pretty good idea of where things are on your home page. Clicking your name will take you to your profile page. Your Facebook profile page shows your basic information from your employer to your birth date. It also includes the timeline. The timeline allows you to see your history on Facebook. It contains all of your Facebook status updates in reverse chronological order. 
This is the cover photo. The cover photo is like a background image for your profile. It is only visible when someone is on your timeline, unlike your profile picture that is visible throughout Facebook, such as when you comment on a status update, for example. There's also a menu on your profile page. This menu allows others to navigate through your profile. They can check your photos, your about section, and see what groups you're involved in, and even the things that you like, by clicking more. Everything in the top menu is shown briefly down the left-hand side of the timeline. By clicking About in the top menu, people can see your basic information. If you click here, you are able to edit the information. Photos. Here is where you can see all the photos that you've uploaded or that friends have tagged you in. Clicking Friends will show all of your friends on Facebook. If someone clicks More, they can see many pieces of information such as places, movies, TV shows, and things that you like. Clicking Timeline from the top menu will take you back to your main profile page. As with the news feed, the timeline also includes a publisher, located in a similar place. Anything you post here goes in your timeline below and in your news feed. It can be viewed by others in accordance with your privacy settings. Our tour has come to an end. Now you know the general blueprint of Facebook. You can go ahead and explore all these features if you'd like. Remember, this is just a quick overview. We'll familiarize you with more details in later tutorials. If you are on YouTube and want to follow a step-by-step -step guide for this tutorial, click here. We have many other great tutorials on techboomers.com. Click here to learn even more about Facebook. We've now come to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy sharing.